It was the silences that told you just how deeply Nottingham is still a city in shock tonight. Thousands came together to grieve for the victims of yesterday's van and knife rampage, a rampage of murder allegedly carried out by one suspect. Two university students, Barnaby Weber and Grace O'Malley Kumar, were stabbed to death on the street after a night out. Both were 19, bright, popular, athletic and with everything to live and look forward to. Ian Coates, a dedicated primary school caretaker, was dragged from his van and killed. Heartbroken tributes at the vigil came from family and friends united in shock and grief. Perhaps, though, the most emotional address came from the fathers of the two murdered young people who spoke as they tried to comfort each other. Two parents suddenly brought together through a terrible moment. They came to support each other and feel the support of an entire city. Two families whose student children were taken from them in the most shocking way. They were joined at this vigil by thousands of students who stood in silent solidarity, united in horror, shock and sadness at the murder of two of their friends. They'd come to remember 19-year-old students Barnaby Weber and Grace O'Malley Kumar, as well as Ian Coates, all murdered in Nottingham early yesterday morning. Holding teddy bears, Barnaby's family had travelled from Somerset, his younger brother clutching his photograph. A first-year history student and a passionate cricketer, his parents have described Barnaby as a beautiful, brilliant, bright young man. His father spoke to the crowd. Um, I'm lost for words. Um, I've lost my baby boy and I can't even comprehend how I'm going to do and deal with it. Well, I know Barnaby will be super touched by everyone that's here. Among the huge crowd were university hockey players here to remember their teammate. Grace O'Malley Kumar was a talented player who'd represented England at under 18 level. A medical student described by her family as a truly beautiful and wonderful young lady. Hi. Two fathers standing side by side. Her dad spoke of his daughter and of the bond between students here. Grace was also like Barney. She, she loved coming up to Nottingham. In fact, we couldn't get her down. The love that we have out here, I just wish we had it everywhere. So, look after each other. They were mourning two students, but Nottingham is one city, and they'd also come to remember the third victim yesterday. Ian Coates was a caretaker at a local primary school. The head teacher described him today as a much-loved colleague who always went the extra mile for the benefit of our children and will be greatly missed. But the opportunity to come together meant the most to friends of the students who will never return, among them a cricket teammate of Barnaby's. Just so unfortunate that that had to happen and they'll be remembered by everyone both in the hockey and cricket, cricket clubs and the university as a whole, I think everyone remember them. These are families trying to make sense of a senseless loss. But tonight they can be in no doubt of the love and support they have here. Ben Chapman, News at 10, Nottingham.